What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Dead Rising. In this episode, we're going to wait until just before midnight. Actually, we're going to wait until just after midnight when we get a couple transmissions from Otis. And then we're going to head up into North Plaza to meet Isabella for our little rendezvous to talk to, to Cardito. We're supposed to be able to get an interview with him, but if you remember our how the plot goes from the first run through doesn't exactly work out that well. Let's see, we got about. Hmm, man. Got another five, six minutes. Let's see, I'm gonna. What do I want to do in the meantime? I can just kind of find somewhere quiet to wait. Let me climb on top of the. I think it's a cosmetics shop over here. Good place to hide. Oh, no, get up there, Frank. Come on, Frank, I know you can do it. Hmm, maybe it's this one. Come on, Frank. He's, le he's leaving right to the other side. Get, get out of here. I'm trying to do something. There we go. No, you can't even make that. Not even close. No, hang on. It's this one. No. Oh, oh, oh come on. I know you can. I know you can do it, Frank. I believe in you. Yeah, my head is underneath it when I start. That's why he's not grabbing the ledge. <laughs> Frank. There it is. You don't have to. You don't even have to move forward. You just jump in place. Got some snacks in here. Stun gun. Ooh. Fun little toy. Okay, so I'm gonna wait here for another five minutes until we get those transmissions. Alright, should be about time for us to be getting those calls here. Let's see which one comes through first. Frank, weren't you supposed to go meet that girl? Oh, crap! You know how women can be when you break a promise. You better light a fire under your ass! Alright. If anyone in this whole mall knows anything about women, it's got to be Otis the janitor, right? Better take his advice. This is kind of weird, but there's a group of freaks in raincoats got rad gathered in Colby's movie land. They're wearing matching masks, too. They really give me the creeps. Alright, those are the two transmissions that come in at midnight. That was midnight right there. That means... No, wait. I'm trying to remember. That means we're halfway through the game, according to time. We're like three-fourths of the way through in terms of the amount of work we have to do. I did some research between videos, and I have a potential... I have a plan. And I think it has potential for us to get Saint and Transmissionary and Ending B. Which is what I said I would do uh, when I was talking about this run and the, while the first one was going on. I'm pretty sure I can pull it off. It's just going to be a matter of... I, I, I think I can do it. It's just going to be a matter of whether or not the game gives me credit for the achievements or not. I'm going to make a, s a separate save file before we make that decision, so we can follow both avenues if necessary. Hey! I'm still alive! Well, just stay alive a little longer, so that I can go and rescue Isabella. Hey, you alright? Yeah, we're fine. We're good. Let me go and get Isabella real fast, and then I'll help him out. Now you gotta try and get this zombie off of her without killing them both. It's always tough when you don't have any very good weapons. There we go. Don't, you don't want to use a Mega Buster for that. No, that could go very wrong. It was Carlito. I tried to talk him into coming, but it was no good. He, he doesn't trust anyone. He shot you? He didn't mean to. He was upset. I don't 
don't know what he'll do next. Uh, uh. Hey. Uh. Hey. Damn. Yep. Now he's got another invalid and still no scoop. Alright, let's go pick up Kindle before he gets eaten. Ooh, case 5152, five, here we go. I'm not gonna save right now. We're in the middle of a video, dude. Why would anyone choose to stop playing after a successful cutscene like that? It's weird. Kindle. Come on! Follow me! Follow me! You know I'm right. <laughs> nice one, Kindle. Whoops, no, I'm trying to talk to him. Sitting around in a locked room ain't exactly my scene. Alright, Kindle, I don't care what your freaking scene is. You need to come with me. There's a helicopter coming to get us on Friday. talking to me still? Hello? There's a helicopter coming against on Friday. Sounds too good to be true to me. Oh, believe it, buddy. It's true. Now hurry up. We gotta get back to the security room already. Alright, yeah. Kendall Johnson. One of those competent survivors in the game. Handles that shotgun like a pro. Now what you can do for him on the way back is try and... Try and distract as many zombies as possible by bumping into them. Whoa. Whoa, lady. Not on film. Come on. There we go. They're up. Keep moving. Kindle's taking some hits here. Don't like that. Hmm. I can't seem to put a waypoint down. Where is he? See, I think he's getting grabbed. Crap. Let me put him there, her down. Alright, hopefully he'll, he'll catch on now. Alright, good. Keep pushing through, Kendall. There he goes, look at that. That's exactly what I wanted you to do, man. Good work. Occasionally he starts blasting as soon as he gets out of the door here. <laughs> you bet. What, are you getting grabbed already? Dude, this is ludicrous. Come on. Can I... Nope, not this Bella. There we go. I got you free, didn't it? Keep moving, Kendall. Don't try and stop and fight. Oh, damn it, there he goes again. Yeah, we get out of there. Good work. All right. Come on. Let's try to avoid the zombies now, Kindle. You guys' name is it like? Am I saying it wrong? Is it Kindle? Because Kindle is the name of that, you know, the thing you read the digital book. Is he keeping up? He is. You don't run as fast with a survivor on your back. You also can't use first-person view with someone on your back in order to make a waypoint. Kind of annoying. Okay, I'm going to try and get these people through the doorway here without too much trouble. That ought to help. Oh, crap. Come on, Kendall, keep moving, man. Do I have any food for him? Ah, oh, man, all I have is the wine. I'll take him upstairs and get some uh, orange juice so Kendall doesn't die. Because the, uh, the, the warehouse can be a little tricky. Oh, with the shotgun, he should be alright. Okay. Let's keep moving, Kendall. Come on. What did you say to me? 
As long as he doesn't get grabbed between here and the orange juice, he should be okay. It's not very far. He's stopping to fight. That's bad news for both of us. Shit, he's dying. Oh, please don't be dead by the time I get back to you. Oh, come on. No, no, no. I don't have time for this. Oh, this is going to be close. Shit, shit, shit. Eat the orange juice, Kindle. Take 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 the orange juice, Kindle. Wow. Do you think he would have preferred milk? I... Okay, we're getting the Saint achievement, so that's unacceptable. We're rolling back. I have to try this again. Alrighty then. I'm back, and Kindle is... Oh, alive this time. I just did everything uh, again up to this point. We're back in Paradise Plaza. No big deal. Come on. Now we're just gonna make our way through the plaza. Kindle has been much better behaved this time. Which is to say... Oh, there he goes. Rather than fighting zombies, he has been running from them, which is what you want him to do. There you go, look at him push through the crowds. Apparently I cannot go up that with his bell on my back. It's getting bad. Up here, Isabella. Come on now. There you go. Whoa, 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 hey, hello. Thank you, sir. Yeah, these bugs are annoying. Come on. We gotta go, son. Ow. Kindle, you're not helping. Kindle actually does fine when he just runs past the crowds. Occasionally he gets bogged down with that shotgun and just refuses to to, to run. And that screws him up pretty bad. Oh, jeez. Come on now. Don't be shooting me when I'm that far ahead of you. gonna hide Isabella in this camera shop. She will hop the counter, I think, if you leave her here. Okay, I need to go back and get Kindle. Oh, no, look, look, he's doing alright, actually. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not doing okay at all. <laughs> there he goes. Alright. Nicely done. Let's clear the rest of the way here. We'll wait into the in the warehouse for a bit, actually, because we need to get another transmission before. Come on now, don't don't be bumping into each other and stuff. We need to get another transmission before we go back. It's at 2 a.m. It's only 1 a.m. now. We got a ways to wait. We're gonna hang out down here. No big deal. It's the transmission for. Floyd the Samie or Samie, Samie or whatever Samiel, Samelier, whatever that word is that means it's French for wine snob, pretty much. So uh, we're gonna wait here until Otis calls us about that, and then we'll go upstairs and turn these two folks back in. Then we're actually going to hang out out here again. Damn, Kindle. <laughs> nice. Then we're going to just hang out again until 3, and we get another transmission telling us to come back. Now, I know for a fact we cleared all the zombies out of this hallway. Apparently, Kindle and I got too far away. Isabella, keep going, please. Run, Isabella. There we go. Now I can cut him down. I just didn't want to slash and hit her and kill her. Chainsaws don't do that much damage to the survivors, but it's enough that if you hit them a couple times, you're like, whoops, now they're definitely going to die. You guys can wait in there. Okay, she's freaking out now. Alright. We have the wine already, so we're good to go whenever that thing pops up. to be shortly. Actually... 
We got enough time to just go ahead and turn them in and then wait for both transmissions out here. I'm gonna do that. Follow me. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Making those manly sounds, Frank. Whoop, what is this? Oh, that's us getting back. Oh, wow, I didn't know that you got a cutscene outside. She hurt? Yeah. Trying to cop a feel, Jesse? You're looking at the bad guy's sister. Bad guy? The one who caused all this? That's right. Her asshole brother caused the zombie outbreak. <sighs> His sister? What in the hell is going on here? I mean, does this have anything to do with that announcement earlier? I don't know much more than you at this point, okay? But he shot her, I can tell you that. And just so you know, that would be the same guy that shot you. What's he after? What's his ultimate goal? I don't know. But according to her... His plan isn't over. Not yet. Not by a damn sight. Fine. Consider her in DHS custody. We'll question her when she wakes up. <sighs> oh, Frank. You know, they're DHS agents and you're a journalist. You just gotta handle it your own way. That's coping for you. This is your hideout, huh? Guess I stick around for a while. It must be Kindle, right? There's no way it's Kindle. Next case, we'll occur at 3 a.m. Let's get out of here. 50,000 prestige points! Woohoo! Now I'm gonna wait outside. It's 2 o'clock. We get a call from Otis. Yeah. About Floyd wanting some wine, and then at three o'clock he tells us to come back for the to do the uh, next cutscene. So I figure I'll just wait and do both those at once. Yeah, yeah. Let's head back up into the coffee shop and regroup there. Actually, I got enough stuff on me that I should be fine to just chill here, stay close, stay safe, just wait. A lot of time management coming in here. Yep, so we'll wait until 3 o'clock. Actually, I might just go in and out. Well, actually, I don't know if I'm still... You don't want to be there before a mission start, because that... Hmm. can spell disaster for you. If you're there when it happens, you don't get the transmission. So, rather than go in at 2, deal with Floyd, come back out, get the transmission at 3, and go back in... I'm too slow with Floyd, I'll still be there when the next one comes in. So I'm going to wait until 3, I'll pick up both transmissions, and then we'll go back in, get the cutscene, and deal with Floyd. Thumb Anti-Shake DSP System. I noticed that this one here is called the Petty Camera. FZ-101. Super CCD Honeycomb HR. Ooh. Oh, wow. Small size, big value. Interesting. I wonder whose job it was to make a bunch of fake camera advertisements to stick up inside the game. Like, there's a lot of, a lot of entities here, you know, it's surprising. You got, I guess that's a picture of, some, like, a cathedral or something. Like, every little bit of stuff in this game, it's all got... It's all got a pretty great detail going on. I mean, the calendar looks like an actual calendar. This is some kind of traveling. Oh no, it's talking about how to print photos. That's why it's the same image over and over again on the left with that bus. What's the, what language is that? Looks like it's written in Arabic. <laughs> oh, here we go. Frank, remember Floyd, the old guy? He says he wants some wine. I think it might be a good way to calm people's frayed nerves for a bit. Bring, bring some back to the security room, would ya? Alright. 
Yeah, you see, you have tons of time for this one, so we can do it after Santa Cabeza. <sighs> I'm yawning. I shouldn't be yawning. I got plenty of sleep. I'm just a yawner. Keniston color film. What is that? Always there when you need it. It's like a tiny digital camera. The Illuminator GD700 28mm zoom viewfinder. It just like it kind of borders on that makes that means nothing. Like it sounds like a camera ad, but really that just they just made stuff up for that. It's interesting. Alright, so we're gonna hang around until three, so I'm gonna cut away for about four or five minutes here. Alrighty then, it's about that time. About to be getting a nice call from Otis. Then we're gonna be ducking into the warehouse and head back in there. Frank, that girl, Isabella, she woke up. Brian's ready to interrogate her. If you want to hear what she's got to say, you better get back to the security room quick. Oh, zombie! <laughs> nah, too slow. You can't catch me. I'm a journalist, man. So you actually, once you get the transmission for those sort of things, where Otis is like, hey, you need to be back here now, you get half an hour in game, which is the equivalent of, like, two and a half minutes real time. So I'm generally waiting to get those transmissions. If you're not playing for the transmissionary achievement, one, I don't know why you're watching this particular walkthrough. And two, uh, you really don't want to be waiting for those transmissions because if you get caught up or you got survivors or you're far from the, the area, you could just get screwed. What is your name? Isabella. Isabella Keys. Well, Isabella, this is an emergency, so we'll skip the formalities and cut to the chase. Consider this an official interrogation. Tell me everything that you know. Fine. I'll explain why all of this is your fault. There was no drug trade in Santa Cabeza. Just an American research facility. They were doing research on some sort of parasitic insect. Like a wasp. A wasp that turns living things into zombies. If you don't believe me, just ask the man who was in charge of that research. The head of the Santa Cabeza Livestock Research Facility. Dr. Barnaby! Huh? Mm hmm? Maybe he wasn't turning, maybe he just wanted to get some. Okay, he was turning. Doc, were you conducting experiments with zombies? We 
accidentally. Made zombie livestock. So the government's now in the zombie making business. Best line in the whole game. The whole story about the drug trade was a cover up. What do you know? We were trying to mass produce cattle. Do you have any idea how much meat Americans consume in a single day? <coughs> that research was absolutely necessary! I have done anything wrong. <laughs> When he's, <laughs> I don't know why, but when he was shaking around on the floor, I, I, in my head I was like, Turn down for what? <laughs> uh, that's so inappropriate. One day, in my village, the people turned into zombies. Those damn wasps. They escaped from the lab. It wasn't long before they got to work. The zombies spread. The army was called in. They killed everyone. Nice cutscene, bro. So, the terrorism is a retaliation for a cruel government cover-up. Sounds plausible. Or it could be some serious bullshit. In either case, we have to get out of here alive if we want to find out for sure. We have to check if she's been bitten. Let me take a look. I'm a medical technician. I could be useful if you let me do my job. I know I have no right to ask, but please, let me help. If you don't get out of here, the truth dies with you. <clears throat> <sighs> All right. If allowing you to atone for you and your brother's scheme makes things go more smoothly for us... I'm all for it. Hmm. Lots of cutscenes in this video. And now... We have to remember to give the wine to Floyd before we leave the security room, or very, very bad, very bad, bad, bad things will happen. So we, uh... If my theory is correct, that is the last main plot mission that you want to do for this run. We do not want to do 7-1. We are going to get the transmission that tells us it's time for 7-1, and we are going to not show up. 
sometime yet before that. So first... Everyone's crying. Where's Floyd? There is. There's Floyd. He's the antique guy. Thank you very much. Everybody wants to thank me. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. All the young folks seem so busy running here and there. All man my age can do is sit and wait. Take a look around. There ain't shit to do in here, son. It's boring. Oh. Oh, really? That's why I asked you to bring some wine. A little alcohol could soothe all our nerves. All right, here you go. I brought it. D -d 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 Did you bring it? There you I go, really buddy. You one. Won't solve any of our long-term problems, but it'll certainly help lighten the mood. All right. <laughs> Get drunk. Man, well done. Mutiny averted. Anything else to do before I leave? I don't think so. Yep. Now we're on to a strange group. But we're not going to tackle that until the next episode of Let's Play... Oh, hello. Dead Rising. Thanks for watching. See you guys then.